Good afternoon. I am Mark Traeger, Chair of the Committee on Recovery and Resiliency. At today's hearing, the committee will vote on proposed intro number 1720A, a bill which will create a Hurricane Sandy Recovery Task Force. The committee originally held a hearing on this bill last Wednesday, October 11th, to which all who testified spoke in favor of this bill. At this point, I'd like to invite any council members who are present uh, to speak about the bill if they have any questions or, or comments. And I would like to recommend that members of the committee uh, vote in, in favor of this very timely and needed bill. Um, and I don't know if any of my colleagues have any comments or I have questions. a quick question. Councilmember Perkins. So there's a, there are two, there are 15 members, seven appointed by speaker and two appointed by mayor all of whom serve without compensation. What about the other two to make 15? So let me just turn to that section. Uh, there are certain mem members that are serving in uh, ex officio capacity. Uh, for example, HRO, Housing Recovery Office, um, also, the director of uh, Mayor's Office of Recovery Resiliency will also serve as an ex officio or his or her designee. Uh, seven members appointed by the Speaker of the Council, six members appointed by the Mayor, uh, provided that of such 13 members shall be at least one resident of each borough. Um, so I believe that there are a couple, two folks that are very, very uh, much involved both from the Housing Recovery Office and from the Mayor's Office of Recovery that are very much involved in day-to-day -day recovery efforts who will serve as ex officio members and that's how you get to the 15 and then 13 members that will be appointed between the Mayor and the Speaker uh, with uh, uh, an understanding that uh, every borough will be reflected uh, on, uh, on this uh, task force um, and again we want folks who are heavily involved in, in, the, in the housing sector both in the nonprofit and um, the agencies and the faith-based communities, those that were really um, involved in the in day-to-day -day work of, of, of the recovery. So, so the other two are coming from the mayor's office? Uh, so yeah, they'll serve as ex officio members, yes. Uh, th these are folks that have direct uh, contact and direct uh, you know, uh, ties to the day-to-day rec -day recovery efforts, so their expertise would, would be helpful to, to the task force. And, and this number, and this HRO, is, 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 that, is, is that an additional one? No, that's, 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 that's Director Amy Peterson. Let's build it back. That's Amy Peterson. Uh, okay. Right. All right, thank you. Sure. Uh, having said that, are there any other questions or comments from my colleagues? Uh, if not, I'd like for the clerk to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, Committee on Recovery and Resiliency, introduction 1720A, Chair Traeger. I vote aye. Richards. Permission to extend my vote? Yes. All right. Just want to congratulate my colleague uh, on uh, keeping the pressure on and, and continuously fighting to ensure that we make a full recovery. And I, I totally understand and know that this uh, legislation is going to certainly help us to uh, continue in the direction of fully rebuilding after Hurricane Sandy. And I want to uh, congratulate you on uh, your continuous work to make sure we get there. With that, I vote aye. Thank you. Perkins. Yeah, I want to agree with my colleagues' remarks, and, and, and I think it's a, it's a great step forward. Um, and uh, we look forward to uh, seeing this passed and, and implemented in as timely a way as possible. Thank you very much. Chin. Uh, permission to explain my vote? Yes. Thank you, Chair. Um, I'm glad we're finally voting on this, and it's, uh, we needed this a while back, right? I mean, we're coming up to the, the five-year anniversary, and uh, recently I was on this uh, boat tour, um, and Catherine LeFay Hughes, um, when our former chair of Community Board One is here, uh, she invited me, and it was a, a tour to really look at what has been done. And sadly to say, not a lot has been done in terms of really protection. And every time the hurricane season comes, I get very anxious, you know, and say hopefully it will pass us by because we're not, we're not prepared. 
Um, and we're seeing uh, some effort in my district in terms of uh, repair, you know, at NYCHA. Uh, finally, they got the FEMA money and, and they're doing some uh, resiliency work, but it was just to protect the building. And like my thing with them was, okay, like a couple of buildings are being protected, but what about the building next to them that maybe is a little bit inland? But if you block the water from this one building, the water will go to the next building. So it's not a comprehensive you know, plan. At the same time, uh, my district is surrounded by water. And we just don't have, you know, we're not done. And we're not, we haven't even started uh, in terms of protection. So I hope that with the task force that we really kind of look into these issues, how do we prepare ourselves as quickly as possible so that, you know, that we make sure that our residents are protected. Uh, so with that, I, I vote aye. Thank you. Thank you. Matteo. Yes. Ulrich. Yes. By vote of six in the affirmative, zero in the negative and no abstentions, item has been adopted by the committee. Great. Um, and I think that we uh, might be missing a member or so, so we maybe we'll keep the roll open for, I'll say, 15 minutes. 15 minutes should be fine. And uh, Councilman Perkins, if you have additional comments. I just want to ask a question. So, so how do we stay in the loop in the discussion about how this is moving forward? Even though some of us may not be in as dire um, a, a situation as others, mm -hmm. uh, it always affects us anyway. Right. So I just wanted to make sure that uh, there was some way in which we can stay abreast of the developments around how we're going to handle this. Is there some effort towards that end that's going to make sure we're all included in some of the information and the sharing and finding out? Right, and I think that members are certainly uh, encourage if there are uh, uh, organizations and leaders in, right. in your borough, your community that have been involved in this line of work, to definitely make those recommendations uh, to both, the, certainly to the speaker's office, our speaker's office, as well as to the mayor's side as well. Uh, again, we, we want folks that were involved, and, and not just really from the outside, but really for folks from the inside, and to give us very candid, uh, very real uh, you know, information that uh, about what, you know where things went wrong and how, how do we make sure it doesn't go wrong again. And I think that this is very timely, uh, five years later. And I do want to just give a shout out again. Uh, my Honorary Leader Matteo, I want to give a shout out again to the Staten Island Borough President, uh, James Otto, who's been very vocal on this issue for, for quite some time as well. So, um, but yes, as soon as uh, the way the, the, the language is worded is that uh, once this bill is enacted, signed by the, you know, passed by the council, signed by the mayor, there's 120 days that we have to make these appointments. And I think that uh, the Speaker's Office has been indicated that they're very open and receptive to members reaching out and, and given recommendations. Again, five boroughs will be reflected on this, which is very important as well. So, uh, and we'll have to make sure that we stay in touch uh, with this task force's work. Thank, Thank you for the good question. Any other? Okay, so we'll just wait uh, to see if uh, additional members uh, walk in and uh, thank you. <laughs>